How's it going folks? It is Matt back with another crypto video. Today I have some big news to cover, but it's also going to be a very quick video. Got a late start to the day, so you know I gotta start getting ready for work here very soon. So uh, let's get right to it. So this first tweet, this is actually my tweet saying, Every day I wake up and become more confident in Digibyte. Big thanks to BBOD Research from the Digibyte community. And I was retweeting their tweet uh, where they gave a fundamental analysis of Digibyte and saying Digibyte aims to solve some of the key perceived shortcomings of Bitcoin or of the Bitcoin blockchain. They provided a link to their article here, which I have clicked on, and uh, we'll go through it quickly. Uh, just a quick look at what BBOD is. They are the Blockchain Board of Derivatives. Uh, this is a quick explanation of what they are. They're saying it is a hybrid, semi-decentralized cryptocurrencies uh, futures trading platform that provides real-time, ultra-fast matching engine in conjunction with a decentralized, secure blockchain-based settlement, which is controlled by the clients. So basically, BBOD allows you to trade cryptocurrency futures. They have uh, picked 16 different projects that you can trade against with up to 50 times leverage, as, as uh, pointed out right here. So the 16 currencies that they have listed, Bitcoin, Ethereum, Ripple, EOS, NEO, Binance, Litecoin, Stellar, Cardano, IOTA, Monero, NIM, Icon, Elastos, Decreed, and Digibyte. So basically, they've listed you know, the top 10, top 15 projects in terms of market cap and uh, as I've been saying recently all of these new exchanges or uh, you know all of these new platforms that are launching are all listing Digibyte you know they all list the top 10 projects top 15 projects because that's kind of you know a guaranteed to be listed but they all list Digibyte you know in terms of market cap it's well behind, you know, I guess the big players in the game, you could say. But, again, they're listing it due to its fundamentals. They're not looking at what price it's worth today. They're not looking at its market cap. They're looking at what it's capable of doing, and they recognize that it is, in fact, a superior technology. So this is a very big deal uh, that BBOD has chosen Digibyte as one of its 16 currencies that you can trade, uh, you know, futures against. And they're, you know... The, through the true U.S. dollar is what uh, these futures will be traded against. So back to this article that uh, BBOD has written. They are saying, uh, as far as it's the rating of Digibyte, they're saying accumulate. They're saying it's an opportunity to buy a medium-risk cryptocurrency at a low price, you know, very low price at one penny at a time. They do a great job of saying uh, the problems that Digibyte is solving, and it's problems that all projects in the face or in the space are facing. You know, it's the problem of speed, security, and uh, they do a great job of explaining the solutions that Digibyte has offered in terms of speed. You know, uh, the block size doubles every two years, and the transaction speed, as a result, doubles every two years. It's just going to keep getting faster and faster up until 2035, when Digibyte can process. 280,000 transactions per second. You know, at current rates, you know, that is unrivaled speed. And it's all on chain, too. They also do a great job of pointing out uh, the security, how Digibyte aims to solve some of the issues of security with their five mining algorithms, real time difficulty adjustment, and uh, the multi shield technology that other cryptocurrencies have adopted because, you know, it's effective at doing uh, what it's supposed to do. Now, I'm not sure why this is all highlighted, and I can't get it to unhighlight now, so that's great. Uh, but they also do a good job of pointing out catalysts that Digibyte is, uh, you know, some reasons that it is, uh, has potential to increase in value over time, is uh, one being the forward-thinking technology behind it. You know, as I just said, uh, the multi-shield, digi-shield technology that Digibyte innovated other space or other projects have implemented it as a result you know and also digibyte was the first to implement segwit in terms of you know the big players you know bitcoin and litecoin implemented segwit after digibyte did it so they are definitely forward thinking uh, they also say the introduction of futures contracts could be another catalyst you know absolutely getting uh, you know professional investors involved in the space definitely has a chance to you know increase the value of digibyte i think another or some other catalysts that they did not point out in this article, I'll point out very quickly here, being DigiID. You know, it's gaining adoption in the real world at present time. It seems like every two weeks now there's a new implementation of it, and it's being implemented in a very wide range of, uh, you know, it's, it's not just a specific target market. You know, it's kind of a blanket solution to all 
uh, security vulnerabilities on the internet. It's been implemented into uh, crypto exchanges such as Change Angel. It's been implemented into you know mining pools, um, which I think it was Swine Mine was the name of it. It's been implemented into wallets uh, like Coinomi. It's been implemented in uh, uh, social media, Dire Haven. It's been implemented into just a regular job search website of absolute jobs. It's a Belgian-based website. But, you know, every time DigiID is implemented, the users that sign in with DigiID have to download the Digibyte mobile wallet. And, that, you know, that's a big deal because when they sign into these websites, it puts Digibyte's mobile wallet in their face every single day or every time they sign into a website. That's just going to, you know, further push the brand of Digibyte into the consciousness of the public. And, you know, uh, other catalysts that Digibyte has coming soon, quarter one of this year, Digi Assets will be released where from within that same Digibyte mobile wallet, with just a few clicks of a button, you can create an asset on the Digibyte blockchain. And, you know, that could be for ICOs and in-game currencies. It could be STOs. It could be tokenized assets such as, you know, the title of your car could be technically become a Digi Asset and you could then uh, trade that title or sell that title within 15 seconds you know, once you find the buyer for it. You know, same for the house or really anything. Speaking of houses, you know, we also have Vesti coming soon, which absolutely could be a catalyst for the Digibyte blockchain uh, where they bring the real estate market onto Digibyte's blockchain. Uh, and later this year, we're expecting the beta version of the Vesti uh, application to be released. And, you know, I definitely can't wait to see what all it has to offer. I think the... BBOD uh, article also does a good job of pointing out some risk factors, uh, you know, such as fierce competition. And uh, this is the, this line saying here: the success of Digibyte will likely stem from a move away from their comparison to Bitcoin and towards how uh, you know its unrivaled speed and security allowed Digibyte to become one of the first cryptocurrencies to become successful. Uh, a successful means of everyday transfer rather than uh, Bitcoin's competency as a store of value. So I think that was an interesting point. Uh, if Digibyte moved away from constantly comparing itself to Bitcoin or Litecoin, uh, you know, I think those of us in the space now know that it is superior in terms of speed and, you know, transaction cost and what have you. But if we move away from constantly comparing ourselves to Bitcoin and Litecoin and start comparing ourselves to legacy systems such as Visa, like I did in my video yesterday. Uh, you know that definitely could see some uh, more adoption of Digibyte take place, or at least get more than one percent of the world looking at it. You know, if you always compare yourself to Bitcoin, and 99 percent of the world has no idea what Bitcoin is, that you know that might not be an effective strategy. But if we start comparing ourselves to the legacy system of Visa. You know, that could get the 99% of the world to be like, oh, hey, th maybe this is a good idea. And so that's what I'll do again here. Visa at present time can handle an average of 150 million transactions every single day. You know, it's definitely fast. It's definitely faster than uh, Bitcoin, Litecoin, and Digibyte at this moment in time. Uh, Digibyte can handle... 560 transactions per second but later this year that doubles to 1120 transactions per second and you know that is 96 million transactions per day so it's, it's still not quite at the speed of visa but you know that's fast enough especially because there's more than likely not going to be one single currency used on a daily basis uh, so when you got 96 million transactions per day on Digibyte's blockchain and you, you know, mate that up with, you know, let's say Litecoin and Bitcoin and a couple other currencies that we could use day to day, uh, you know, collectively we could outpace the transaction speed of Visa and do it, you know, much, much cheaper. And, you know, looking in terms of uh, how I said earlier that the block size doubles every single two years, by 2021, those 96 million transactions per day will, will double to 193 million transactions per day. So, you know, by 2021, Digibyte alone will be much, much faster than Visa, much, much faster than MasterCard, and, you know, ultimately way cheaper. So that will wrap up today's video, guys. It was just a uh, – tried to make it a quick video. It ended up being over nine minutes, but – uh, yeah, that wraps it up. I'll provide links to the, all this information that I have provided today. So hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Hit the bell to get notifications. Like it, share it, leave a comment, and I'll see you guys later.